Welcome back, friends. Ireland here with a relationship Reddit story about a guy who caught his wife doing some terrible things at a party. He doesn't mention their ages or how long they've been together, but there's more in the comments than just the main story, so make sure you stick around to the very end. This is what he says. Recently, my wife and I attended a party, and I witnessed something there that completely shattered my world, and I don't know if I can forgive it. The party was organized by some of her colleagues. Approximately 20 people were there. I had crossed paths with one of them before, but the majority of the attendees, it was my first interaction with them. She was nervous about going, as she hadn't spent time with many of these people outside of work herself. Nevertheless, we hadn't been social in a couple of weeks and both of us saw it as a good opportunity to do just that. As the evening progressed, my wife seemed to be enjoying herself more and more. <laughs> yeah, well, something tells me she's really going to be enjoying herself in a minute. The drinks were flowing, but I held myself back as I was the designated driver to take us home later. At one point we separated and she spent time with a group inside of the dance floor as I relished the opportunity to converse with some new faces on the back deck. I was beginning to run out of energy and went inside to let her know we should think about heading out soon. I could tell she was fairly inebriated but didn't want to spoil her fun. She pleaded with me to stay, so we did. Every so often I would glance over in the window and see her dancing and smiling. Some time went by and the next time I glanced in, she was gone. I didn't think much of it and told myself she'd probably popped into the bathroom. A few more minutes went by and I still didn't see her inside. I got up and went inside to do a scan of the main level. The bathroom door was closed and I went back to the kitchen. Some more time went by and no one came out of the bathroom so I knocked and there was no answer. Was she puking? Passed out? I grabbed my phone and called and texted her. No answer. My heart sank when I saw a phone that looked like hers face down on the kitchen counter. I flipped it over and saw a new notification from myself. Uh oh, what is this guy about to walk into? My heart begins to beat out of my chest and a momentary panic sets in. Why would this guy be panicked just because he didn't know where his wife was? Something tells me if this is the way he feels when he doesn't know where she is for 5 minutes then either he already knows the type of person she is or he's just an insecure type of guy. I start asking other people if they'd seen her and no suggestions. I open up the bathroom and no one is there. My stomach flips. I need to find her so I start moving through the house. I turn the painfully loud music down to try to hear myself think. <laughs> this guy's a party killer. No one's allowed to have fun now because this guy's panicking that his wife's getting it on with a coworker somewhere. I don't know what's happening, but I can feel something is wrong. I take the stairs to the basement and I pass the first door at the foot of the stairs, then pick the second. Nothing. I turn back to the door I passed. The door is cracked, but the lights are off. Uh oh, here we go. I fling it open and see motion. The lights are on and a man is lying on his back with his pants undone but around his waist, seemingly adjusting them or pulling them back up. Wait, he just said the lights were off. Now the lights are on? Or well, maybe he turned them on, I don't know. But anyway. Another figure has her back to me and runs to hide behind a media console at the far side of the room. Her pants are down below her bum, but above her knees. Panties still on. I run over and shove the TV out of the way and I already know who it is. Man, something tells me ahead of time this guy already knew what kind of wife he had. And this is exactly the kind of thing I always talk about. You see the red flags, you know in the back of your mind the type of person you're with, but for some reason you just don't want to admit it until something like this happens. But let's see where this goes. So he says, I run over and shove the TV out of the way, but I already knew who it is. She tries to hide her face. What a genius. Maybe if I put my hand in front of my face, my husband won't realize it's me in here giving out a beach. Everything falls apart and starts caving in around me. In an instant, I'm upstairs. I shove the man who follows me up and look back only at my wife with a mixture of disbelief, humiliation, and anger. Yeah, this is pretty humiliating. I mean, right in front of all her coworkers, they find out that not only is she a skank, but you're a chump. Terrible. The next thing I know, I'm outside, pacing at the end of the cul-de-sac. I believe that my marriage of one year is over. Oh, so he's married for a year. <sighs> Man, I feel bad for this guy. But at least it happened a year in, so you don't waste any more of your life with this piece of trash. A few minutes later, I see her outside of the house, sitting with her hands on her head. She moves towards me and begs me to listen to her, but all I can muster is a short breath to ask her to go to her friends for the night. What is she possibly going to say? I mean, you caught her basically red-handed. Crazy how some women, even when they get caught in the act, will try to make excuses for their behaviors. They will deny, 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 no matter what. She goes back into the house to call a cab. Everyone departs. I go back inside and find her, in a room with the same man. What? She went back to the same guy she was with? What the hell? She's seated on a chair, and he's lying on a bed. She leaves because her cab has arrived, and he apologizes and says that he only met out with her for five minutes. A day later, she says it was only one minute, and confesses that he's married but hasn't had bedroom fun in two years. Oh, what? So she felt sorry for the guy and decided she would give him a little thrill? What does that mean? She's working to earn that promotion. <laughs> 
He continues to apologize and I eventually leave. I see my wife the next day. She admits she was extremely drunk, but the man forced himself on her. Oh, here we go. Are you kidding me? So now she's claiming because he couldn't get any at home from his own wife, he had to force himself on her? Give me a break. Crap like this, which happens all the time, is why a lot of real victims aren't believed. And this woman is a disgrace to females. Any of you females out there who want to scream believe all women, this is why we don't believe all women. She said he offered to give her a tour of the house and she obliged, being nice to the host, a superior at work. Eventually they got downstairs and all of a sudden the lights went off and he was kissing her. She froze, he was doing something with his pants and her pants, but he didn't touch her. How did this guy manage to get everyone's pants off while making out before she had a chance to move? And most women wear pretty tight jeans, it's not that easy to just remove them. I mean, your husband's in the house, why not just walk out and tell him? This sounds completely bogus. But of course she's gonna try to play the power dynamic card. Oh, I had to do it or I might have lost my job. Plus, how exactly would she know that he hasn't been with his wife in the last two years? Was he just telling her his life story as he's attacking her? And didn't she admit that they made out for a minute? Nothing about this adds up. She's upset that I assumed she was a participant and didn't come to her aid. Warning, gas has been lit. So now he's a bad husband for not being the chump who attacks some guy that his wife is getting it on with? Get real. She states in counseling that the hardest part is that I don't believe her. My trust seems to have been shattered and what I saw doesn't seem to align with my wife's story. Bro, you're in counseling in your first year of marriage? Other than if this is a result of this specific situation, this already sounds like it's going down a wrong road. But even if it's because of this, just get out of this. There's no way she wasn't participating. It's not a topic she likes to bring up, and when I've done so, I become the bad guy that doesn't trust her or what she recounted. Of course she doesn't like when it gets brought up, because the more you talk about it, the more obvious it probably becomes that she's lying. I don't feel I can move past this until I know more. What should I do? What do you mean? What more do you need to know? The only information you're going to get is from your wife, and she tried to act like she did nothing wrong from the get-go. So the people in the comments are saying that if he was lying on his back, then her story makes no sense because she easily could have just walked away. Then someone asked what her explanation was for hanging out with him again after the husband confronted her. He says her explanation was that she went back to ask him what the F was that, to which he just responded by apologizing over and over. I mean, what was what? A guy laying on his back while your pants aren't all the way up? She tried to hide behind a TV when she got caught. Why would she do that instead of saying, help me, he's doing something, you know? Like, doesn't even make sense. Then someone mentions the fact that the guy hadn't gotten any from his wife makes no sense and has nothing to do with her. And the person who posted this says perhaps it speaks to the fact that he was desperate to get some and may have coerced to some degree. I mean, yeah, maybe he was hitting on her or something because that was the attitude he had, but she could have easily just walked away. The story still doesn't add up. If the way she knows that he hasn't been getting any from his own wife is because he was saying this while he was attacking her, she could have just been like, I don't care, get away from me. I mean, just because he was trying to convince her to do something, if that was the case, doesn't mean she actually had to do it. She's responsible for her own behavior. She's a grown woman. So then someone mentions how she might have been taken advantage of because of her drunken state. And according to the guy who wrote this, he says she wasn't blacked out drunk or the drunkest that he's ever seen, but she was beyond her limit. He said once she got caught, she seemed to sober up pretty quickly. Yeah, they always do. This guy also said if she was frozen when the co-worker made a move on her, why was she moving so quickly once he busted in the room? Yeah, exactly. As far as I can tell, based on this story, it seems like she was trying to get it on with a co-worker and then when she got caught, she tried to gaslight her husband and act like she was attacked. But anyway, what do you all think? Is she lying? Comment below and don't take off just yet because we got another story from a guy in a somewhat similar situation. He says, My wife and I have been together for seven years, married for three. When she and my daughter, who's three years old, go on their walks, my daughter will scream and scream to continue walking, but my wife, who's 35, will ignore her and keep chatting and laughing with this 28-year-old guy who lives across the street. He's been renting a basement across from us for a couple of months now. He's single, jobless, and hangs out on the porch all day. While I'm at work, my wife will go over to talk to him or invite him over to talk and hang out. Once I came home to an empty house and found my family hanging out on his porch. I walk up and the conversation stops. After a little chit chat, my wife says, oh, we should probably head out after having been there for two hours. Two hours? Why would your wife be hanging out with the guy across the street for two hours? I think we all know the answer. If this was my wife, this would not fly. The pandemic and lockdowns have been really hard. She doesn't laugh or joke with me anymore. And when I do try to lighten the mood, she gets real serious and says that I'm not funny. Oh no. No guy wants to hear from his wife that he's not funny. Even if he's not, she should just do her wifely duty and laugh at him and pretend like he is anyway. A wife telling a man that he's not funny is the equivalent of a husband telling his wife she truly does look fat in that dress. There's some things in a marriage you just don't say.
So he says, I've never been in this situation before. I'm feeling overreactive, like my wife is ready to cheat or something. Well, bud, that's because she is. That's called instinct, and it's not to be ignored. I brought up my insecurities with her last night, and we talked it out. She says this guy's like the male version of her, like he's her mirror. That's definitely a bad sign. Read between the lines, my friend. I mean, I could be wrong about this specific situation, but typically when a girl is talking about how similar a guy is to her, it's because she's thinking about all their similarities and how compatible they are. That's essentially what she's telling you, even if she doesn't realize it. This is a problem that a lot of guys seem to have where they don't really understand how to read women. So when women straight up tell them what they're thinking like this guy's wife clearly is doing here, they still don't get it and are completely oblivious to what their girl's about to do, or already doing. Then when she follows through with it or the guy finds out, he's completely caught off guard despite all the signs being there and her pretty much telling you what she was thinking or planning. It's just like that video I made the other day where the guy's wife was always talking about this person at work and come to find out she's been hooking up with him. So many women can't help but show signs of their infidelity that men just don't pick up on. So he continues, she says he has a similar upbringing in trauma, mental health issues, etc. And that she gets along really easily with him. Oh no, your wife has mental health issues? This is not looking good. And if he has the same mental health issues, she's probably looking to him as someone she can confide in, which is definitely also not good. Not only because it's going to make her feel closer to him, but because he's going to be able to offer her something that you can't. So she's going to be seeking out that comfort. We all know where that leads. So he says, she also says she's scared of how easy it is to talk to this guy and she hopes he moves away in January, which is his plan. I communicated that I appreciate her being open and honest with me, but that last part just clicked in my brain. What happens if he doesn't move away? Does she have no self-control? Now I'm worried. Might be time to book some marriage counseling. Or it might be time to book a divorce lawyer. Just kidding. It seems like this guy's wife is already having what people call an emotional affair. I mean, it's pretty clear she's into this guy. And somehow this guy didn't realize this until now. The fact that this woman would even say that she hopes the guy moves away obviously shows that she's intending to cheat. She's just trying to kind of tell the guy before it actually happens. I've said this before in other videos and I'll say it again. Women cannot help but subconsciously tell on themselves. I mean, she basically told her husband she's really into this younger neighbor guy and that she hopes he moves away before she ruins her marriage by hooking up with him. And the husband thanked her for it. I mean, if that doesn't tell you how clueless some men are, I don't know what else could. Obviously, this guy's somewhat aware of what his wife's doing because he mentions it in this post, but it took him writing this just to figure it out. These are exactly the type of red flags that I always talk about that men seem to ignore because they're blinded by either love or beauty. And I suppose if or since she hasn't done anything with this neighbor guy already and they've been married for this long that he should probably go to marriage counseling and try to work through it because you don't want to end a marriage over something like this. But honestly, if she's the type of woman who would even be thinking about trying to cheat and admitting that she's thinking about cheating, unfortunately for this guy, there's probably going to be another person down the road that makes her go all the way with it. But marriages are tough and people do get tempted. So I guess if this woman didn't actually cheat on him yet, he should probably try to do his best to stick it out, especially for the kids sake. If I were him, I would tell my wife absolutely not are you ever to speak to this guy again. And if she continues to do so anyway and disrespect his wishes as well as disrespecting him, then I guess it would be time to move on and prepare for the future. A future without her. Unfortunately though, since she's a housewife and they have a kid, he's sort of stuck between a rock and a hard place because now he's going to be paying alimony and child support out the ass. But I wish him the best and hopefully things work out for him. What do you all think though? Let me know your opinion in the comments. Thanks to anyone who subscribed, click like or share this video. My contact info is below and definitely join my discord where I'm trying to build a community of like-minded people. It's free and the link is below. Also, thanks to anyone who responds favorably to those surveys that pop up in your feed. I really appreciate it because it's so helpful. Much love to you all and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.